welcome students today we will discuss about sum of bits problem the sum of bits problem the objective function is represented as f of x is equal to sigma xi where i running from 1 to d here d refers to the dimension or you can say as a number of variables where each xi variable it is a binary that means it can take either 0 or 1 so here the question is asked about the dimensionality d is equal to 8 what is the maximum value so this problem you have to solve using full blind search algorithm let us see so first as usual we will import the required blind search algorithm functions by using this statement the first statement and the next statement actually let us first see about the the syntax for uh, full blind search algorithm this is the function name so you can see this there are two three arguments you have to pass first one is search another one is function next one is type here search re search represents the solution space okay search represents the solution space which you have to give in the form of matrix and the second argument is your objective function and third one is minimization or maximization problem these are the three arguments we have to pass to the full blind search algorithm so first let us see about the search search represents the solution space which you have to give in the form of matrix okay so matrix in r the matrix syntax is given by using this function and you have to specify the number of rows and columns here the number of rows is specified as number of solutions so in our case you can see our problem is uh, you can see this the number of rows it depends upon the number of solutions so since it is a binary problem if you are having five variables we can generate up to 32 solutions 2 power 5 if it is 8 means we can generate 2 power 8 solution space so it is given as number of solutions is 2 power d okay so since the question is about the dimensionality 8 so we will put d is equal to 8 now let us create a matrix with this function with rows as total number of solutions and columns as d dimension that is given as the search matrix now our job is to fill this search matrix with the solution space the solution space starts from 0 to all ones so here the logic is what we have done is we have generated a sequence of integer from 1 to the number of solutions and each solution we are converting into the binary form with the help of this function into two bits so here the logic is we are converting we are generating the sequence of numbers from 1 to the number of solutions so since 8 means we have to generate 2 power 8 ok 2 power 8 solutions 2 power 8 solutions so each solution you have to convert into binary form for that we are using into two bits uh, function and also we are specifying the length of the binary vector so with this uh, after converting into binary we are converting into integer ok so after we are doing this we are storing it in the, in the search matrix search matrix ok we are storing the solution space that is a binary solution space in the search matrix in sequential form ok this you have to do for all the solutions ok you take the solution and convert into binary form with this function and then store it in the search matrix ok so once it is done so this part is over so we can print the solution space we will see we, i will show you the execution 
our next task is you can see the function we have to define the objective function. So, we have to define the objective function. So, you can see this it is a simply the sum of bits okay sum of all bits in a solution or all bits sum of variables in a solution. So, for that we will define a function called sum bin this is the syntax for this just we have to write <coughs> here the function takes the input x and then here we will put the sum of the elements in x vector here you need to understand that x is a vector okay the vector to x and we have to sum all these things. So, how do we sum means we will convert into numeric form and then we will perform the summation operation. So, this is this function is used for evaluating the objective function this is what we represented here ok. So, after finding this we will call this full blind search algorithm. So, we will pass this search matrix which is full of solution you can see this and then the objective function the which is our uh, objective function and then we have to define that whether we want minimization or maximization. In the <coughs> in the question they are asked about maximization if nothing is given you can take maximization and you can type max and you can print the results. So, we already know that it will give you the S1 object with the help of S1 object you can access the solution and the corresponding value ok. So, let us execute statement by statement statement by statement. So, you can see the execution at the bottom. So, the solution space matrix solution space is going to be printed. So, I already told you 2 power 8 means it can generate up to 2 power 8 the output it consists of 256 solutions since the dimensionality is 8 that means 8 variables each variable can take binary values it can take it can generate 2 power 8 solutions. So, only 125 solutions are displayed here. after printing. So, we are going to execute the output. So, now we can see the output. So, the optimum solution space is optimum solution is that means all ones when x vector takes all one value you will get the maximum value the optimum maximum value is 8. So, in this way you want to uh, find out the minimization problem is it is very simple min that is it you can save the file and you can execute it. So, you can see this the minimum value is all zeros. So, in this way we can solve the sum of bits problem using full blind search algorithm. Here the logic is simple you have to generate all the solution space and store it in the search matrix and then define the objective function and call the full blind search algorithm to evaluate it.